India's space race just got a booster and the launch pad it's not Shrihari Kota but it's in Karnataka on May 8th in space and the government of Karnataka signed a deal which could change how India built satellites launch vehicles and possibly future missions to moon and beyond Let's break it down. Two major agreements were inked: a center of excellence for space tech in Bengaluru and a space manufacturing park, which is a public-private facility to build next-generation satellites and rockets. In space chairman Dr. Pawan Goenka said it best: "We want to see more satellites, engines, and deep space tech built right here in Karnataka." The chief secretary Dr. Shalini Rajneesh said that this marks a new chapter in Karnataka's space journey. So this means that Karnataka isn't just launching tech talent, it's now manufacturing the future of space. This isn't coming out of nowhere because Karnataka already has 10 plus ISRO and DRDO facilities. HAL, BEL, BHEL, NAL and all of them have space grade capabilities. Then you have IISC, IIA, VTU and NIT, all of them having great deep research networks. And you have over 2500 MSMEs that supply parts to ISRO. In fact, Most of India's space tech already touches Karnataka before it takes off. Now, the goal is to go from parts and people to full stack platforms, one that contains testing labs to full scale satellite factories. And this isn't about land. This space manufacturing park will build launch vehicles and satellites at scale, act as a test bed for propulsion, avionics and deep space systems while also supporting public private partnerships with startups and global OEMs and be fully policy backed under India Space Policy 2023 so it's a physical platform to make India's new space economy real think drone corridors for launch vehicles precision fabrication zones and testing labs all in one space while globally space is going from government funded missions to vc backed innovation cycles but india's space economy is projected to hit 44 billion dollars by 2023 and this isn't just about sending rockets it's about navigation and gps while having remote sensing for agriculture and ai powered satellite data for defense telecom climate fintech and more and this karnataka in space alliance isn't just policy because under its draft space technology policy 2024 to 2029 karnataka wants to hold 50% of india's space market and capture 5% of the global space economy and launch 50 plus satellites built by Karnataka based startups and attract 3 billion dollars in space tech investments while training 5000 plus engineers including 1500 women this goes beyond ambition it's planned execution across sectors like skill development startup grants shared testing infra revenue linked adoption for government tech and the world is looking up because karnataka just made sure india's name is on the blueprint from isro to idea forge and from satellites to space factories this is india's best bet yet to become a global space manufacturing superpower and it all starts with a simple idea build a launch pad and let the innovation take off this is front page by aim tv like share subscribe and remember think ai think aim